All right, Wharton is back to solving equations and inequalities. All right, first things first, I'm the realist. No, seriously, Valentine's Day message. I know it's not Valentine's Day, and we got a long way to go, but your significant other, male or female, all right, this right here is kind of like a little math little riddle. And my, some of you might have seen this already before, but if I solve this for I, okay, I'm going to multiply this distribute through. So I get 9x is minus 7i is greater than, uh, what, 9x, right, minus 21u. If I subtract 9x's from both sides, they go away. And then I divide by negative 7. I'm going to solve for i there, negative 7. So I get i. I flip this when I, multi when I divide or multiply by a negative, so that's going to flip. 21 divided by 7 is uh, 3, and then I have the U there. So if you look at it, it says, I love you. See, this is something you can give to your significant other right there, and you can be like, whoa, Wharton, I learned something in Wharton's class, a little math riddle on how to express my love for you. Well, hello. All right, uh, review. I want to solve some linear equations here. I want to solve and check. Uh, remember, we always want to check, check, check it out. Check, 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 check it out. We always want to do that, please. Uh, we can't just take it for granted that the answer is right because you might have got it wrong or I got it wrong, right? So number one, n minus 2 plus 8n equals 7. I want to combine the n's there. I get 9n is equal. I want to bring this over by adding 2 is 9n equals 1. Okay, and I'm going to plug it back in. 1 minus 2 is negative 1 plus 8, right? Negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So this does work. What a novel concept. We can always check our answers. We should never get a wrong answer in this classroom because we can check everything. Number two, remember on the last video in point one, you had some parentheses and you had some like LCM stuff and you had to kind of multiply through. So what I want to do is instead of dealing with fractions, because I know we love fractions, love fractions. Okay, I love fractions. Uh, most of us do not. I actually prefer fractions because they're really easy to work with, but some of us hate them, if not all of us. So what I want to do is I want to multiply everything by the LCM. What's the denominator? What denominator can I use that all of them will go into? <gasps> oh, man, that's a 4. So I want to multiply everything by 4. If I do that... 4 times negative 2a is negative 8a. Oh, my hand. 4 right, divided by 4, it cancels. That becomes a 1, so that becomes a negative 9. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, equals 4 divided by 4 is 1 times that is just negative 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times that is negative 6a. All righty. A, like Fonzie. Okay, I'm going to bring this over, and I'm going to bring all of this over here. So when I bring that over, I add it, right? I get a positive 2A equals negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3, but I'm adding the 1 from the side. I'm bringing it over, so that makes it a negative 2. I'm going to divide by 2 to both sides, and I get A is equal to negative 1. Okay, now I'm going to skip this step, and you're going to be like, what you said, check it! Well, it's for the sake of time, okay? If you want me to show you how to check it, put it in your right here. You're like, question, show me how to check answers. And you can even put it in bold and whatever so it looks like you're yelling at me, okay? That's okay, all right? I'm yelling right now. I'm getting so excited and pumped up over this. All right, <clears throat> I got to call myself. I got to check myself before I riggedy, riggedy wreck myself. Number three, I want to multiply here, multiply there. I got to multiply here and I got to multiply there. It's going to be like a nice little wrap down the road. 4 minus 16n equals negative 12n minus 8 minus 4. All right, I'm going to bring the 16n over. I'm going to combine this to negative 12 and I'm going to bring that over. I'm skipping some of these steps here because this is review and really it should be review, okay? If it's not review, then um, we need to ask for more help. Be like, help me! All right, um, when I bring that 12 over, remember, it adds it to the side, so that's a 16. Okay, I'm going to bring the 16 over, right? That's what I said, so I get a 4n. And then I get n equals 4 because I'm dividing by 4 to both sides. All right, again, I'm not going to check. I'm going to save the time. But uh, if you want to show, if you want me to show you how to check, please, again, put it in your 
um, question kind of column right there, any thoughts or complaints or whatever. All right, I want you guys to pause the video here and uh, hit uh, four, all right? Pause it, hit uh, do four and five, okay? Pause, four and five. For number four, I need to distribute, 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 distribute. So it's two minus six n plus five equals negative eight n minus four. I am going to bring the eight n over. The two and the five become a seven, which then goes over here and minus, it becomes a negative seven, right? So it becomes a negative 11 equals. When I bring this eight over, it becomes a two n. When I divide, I get n is equal to a negative 11 halves. It is okay to get fractions. Please don't put them as decimals. Leave as fractions. Leave as fractions. Don't put them as a decimal, please. Number five, what is your LCM, if you recall, or LCDD, LCM doesn't really matter. Um, we'll get to more LCDs later on down the road. Technically, this is an LCD, but that's okay. It's three, two, two, three, and two. That's a six, right? I'm going to multiply everything by 6. Everything by 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times that is negative 4K. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times that is negative 27. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times that is negative 9. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times that is negative 8. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times that is negative 9K. I just get so excited. I'm going to move this 9K over. I'm going to combine these here. That makes a negative 17. Then I'm going to bring the 27 over. When I bring that, i got to add it to the negative 27, which means I get a positive 10 equals. When I bring the 9K over, I get a positive 5K when I divide, I get k equals 2. I'm sorry, I almost wrote a 5. I kind of did write a 5, and then I corrected myself. k is equal to 2. Hopefully, we get the right answers for that, um, and hopefully, I did the right answer for this one here. If you didn't, please uh, let me know. Okay, let's go on to the next part there. All righty then, like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, Jim Carrey. Four symbols we use to represent inequalities. What are they? Remember, less than is this. This is less than, okay? Greater than less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. We should all at least see them. The problem is, is we, from time to time, okay, we forget what they mean, okay? We, we kind of mix the two. Uh, we might mix less than and greater than because we're not 100% sure as to which one is what. What is what? Which is what? Hey, Brian, can I have some wheat thins? What? Can I have some wheat thins? They're wheat thins. That's what I said. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying wheat thins. Say wheat. Wheat. Now say wheat thins. 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 No, you can't have any. Have any what? Have any wheat thins? It's wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Can I be in your commercial? No. no it's our thing. We're doing it. So I want to write these down here. Remember, we always read from the variable. What? From the letter. The letter of the law. I don't know what that means, but it's a saying. I think it means following the law. This is kind of a law. Like, math is like a law. Like, there's a lot of stuff in here. So we read from the variable. So x is less than or equal to 21. Is less than or equal to 21. Now, this d is on the right side. It's not on the left. But what is the symbol? It's open next to that. So d is greater than 3. Okay? If I were to change this around, it would say D is greater than 3. Okay, that's the greater than symbol. Y is less than 1. Again, if I flip that around, Y is less than 1. This one here is read as V is what? Oh my gosh, it's less than or equal to. Less than or equal to. Again, if I flip this around here, V is less than or equal to 3.14. If I flip, i got to flip everything. So the Y goes, this goes, and then the symbol flips as well. Okay, back to some graphing inequalities. These are some simple ones. If you recall, what does this mean? A less than, greater than symbol, we have an open dot. Open, open. If I have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, I have a closed dot. A closed dot. Because the line underneath represents its close. Okay, so this is x is greater than negative 3. Greater than. 
Okay, so here we go. X is greater than negative three. I'm gonna put an open dot on negative three, and I'm going to graph to the right, to the right. Everything I own, I'm putting in a box to the right. I know that's not Beyonce's hit. That's okay though. I can make fun of it. To the left, to the left. Everything I own in a box to the left. Number two, I want you guys to pause the video real quick and try that one. All right, number two. This says X is greater than or equal to one. Greater than or equal to one. Closed dot on one, greater than it, so I'm gonna to go to the right. Think about this, like you want numbers that are bigger than one. What numbers are bigger than one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a hundred, a thousand, a million. That'd be nice in my bank account. Number three, these are compound inequalities. Hopefully you guys remember a little bit about these. If not, we're gonna kinda of talk about it right here. Okay, what this means is, this X is in between these two numbers. Okay, and this, this is what we call an and inequality because it's in between both. So negative four, I'm gonna put a closed dot there. I'm gonna put a open dot at two. And because it's in the middle of them, I'm shading in the middle of them. Yay, there's my answer for number three. Number four, this is an or inequality. Or inequalities go in opposite directions usually, okay? So x is less than negative 1, so less than goes this way there, or x is greater than 1, greater than or equal to 1, so close that at 1, greater means I go to the right, so there we go there. So you see that there's some open space right in the middle. Wide open spaces right in the middle, some Dixie chicks up in here. Okay, let's go on to the next stuff. Okay, I want to solve some simple inequalities. What does this mean? I want to actually solve this, right? So I want to add the seven, that's 30. Okay, I want to do it over here. So I get two thirds X is greater than 30. Once I brought the seven over, multiply by three, I get 90. Two X is greater than 90, divide by two, X is greater than 45. Okay, that's your answer there. All right, I want you guys to try six. Pause video now. All right, number six, here we go. I want to minus the six. So I get negative 4x equals 4, I'm sorry, not equals, less than or equal to, dir, divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4x, and 4 divided by negative 4 is a negative 1. The rule states this, if I divide by negative or multiply by negative, the symbol changes, it flips, it flips, okay, it flips, so now it's greater than or equal to negative 1. If you want to know why, then please say, I want to know why, why, I don't know why, and then just say, uh, for number six, I want to know why, about six, number six, okay, number seven, compound inequality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the inequality, and then I'm going to graph them, so here's what's going to happen, I'm going to do numbers one, and, or I'm sorry, seven and eight, and then you're going to do numbers nine and ten, and that's okay, all right, I know number 10 is not a compound inequality, but that's okay. It's just a like a really long inequality. That's okay. Number seven, I'm gonna take the negative 33, it's less than or equal to 6k minus three, less than or equal to 57. And what I'm gonna do is I want k to be by itself in the middle. So when I add three, I'm gonna add three to each side. Okay, so that goes away. This is now 60, still the same symbols. And this is now a negative 30. Then I'm going to divide by 6. Well, guess what? To each side. Oh, man. Negative 5, less than or equal to k, less than or equal to 10. Now I'm going to graph this. Closed dot on negative 5, closed dot on 10, which is way up here. Okay? And then I'm shading in the middle. Shade, shade, shade in the middle. There we go. Number 8, same thing. Negative 13, less than or equal to Five minus two v less than or equal to seven minus five to everything negative eighteen less than or equal to negative two v less than or equal to two. Now I'm going to divide by negative two to everything. So this gives me a positive nine. Remember I'm dividing by negative two, so these signs flip. So now it's this way. Okay, that's a v. This way again it flips, right? And that's a negative one. So now this line looks opposite of what it should be. This actually should be 
I need the arrows going to the left, okay? They can always only go to the left in a final answer. So this is what it should be. So I get a closed dot on negative one, a closed dot on positive nine way up yonder, and then I shade in the middle. In the middle, yay, in the middle. Okay, pause the video for nine, pause the video for 10, and then hit play. For number nine, this is an or, so I'm gonna solve each of these separate. So I'm going to minus the 1, minus the 1. I get negative x is less than or equal to negative 7. I have to divide by negative 1. x is now greater than or equal to 7. That's one of them. Or, and I solve this one, i got to bring that over. x is less than or equal to negative 5. Okay, so I get what? A closed dot on negative 5. And less than means I go to the left. Go to the left. There we go. That's Beyonce's hit. Greater than 7, um, I put a closed dot at positive 7, and it's greater than, so I'm going to the right. All right, there we go there. For number 10, this is just a single answer. So i got to distribute, distribute. i got to distribute, distribute. Negative 1 plus 8n greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to, there we go, uh, negative 20 minus 10n plus 1. I'm going to bring the negative 10n over to this side. I'm going to combine the negative 20 and the 1 to get a negative 19. And then I'm going to bring the 1 over by adding it, which is negative 18. And when I bring the 10 over, I get a positive 18 is greater than or equal to a negative 18. When I divide by 18, I get n is greater than or equal to a negative 1. Now, some of you, and please don't ever do this, you see the negative 1 here and you might be like, well, I'm going to flip the sign. Well, no, my denominator is even. So I'm not dividing by negative, I'm dividing by positive. But my answer just happens to be negative. That's okay. So n is greater than or equal to negative 1. Closed dot, going to the right, going to the right. There we go there. All righty then, that concludes this video, which is solving inequalities and equations. All right, please, please, please ask for help in your little margins over here margins this is what we call a margin okay please ask for help we're good to go on this particular point two section remember take notes do work and you will be successful